<laughs> yeah. All right, that one. The anime that was interesting. Fans. Anime yeah. fans. Out with the old, in with the new. We welcome October with a new language in Fluency Flex. And this one's for the anime fans. Um, we're learning Japanese. We kick off things with the with a lesson in Japanese greetings and numbers. Mm. We welcome our teacher for the month, writer and linguist Marcus Bird. Ohayou gozaimasu. Konnichiwa. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. So, Ohayou is good morning in oh. Japanese. Mm -hmm. Ohayou. Ohayou. Yeah. Ohayou. Not to be confused with the, the city. The place? Yeah. Okay. No, um. actually, what I want to take you through right now uh -huh. is actually what's called memory magic. So, we're going to use some, some memory tricks yeah. to okay. learn some numbers. I like uh. this. And then I'm going to segue from that into you using those numbers to do something fantastic. All like, right. All right? Hi. So, so the first thing we said was Ohio. 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 So you said that sounds like? Ohio. All right. Cleveland. So it sounds like Ohio, like yes. a state. Yeah. So I want you to imagine that you're actually in Ohio. Okay. Mm -hmm. And everybody's walking around. And instead of saying good morning, they say? Ohio. 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 What I thought. So that right there is what we call a memory bridge. Mm -hmm. So it's a link between what we don't know. And what we do know. And what we do know. Yeah. And we're going to be using this to learn some numbers like at lightning speed. All mm -hmm. right. All right. So the first thing I'm going to teach you, and you know, at home, you can follow along if you'd like to. Mm -hmm. Is that everybody has how many how many noses do we have? One. one. We have one nose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes our nose is itchy. Yeah. Aye. Uh. Right. Sometimes our nose is itchy. So if you can do this, yeah. What you're doing is you're anchoring the memory. Okay. So itchy, itchy is one. Yeah. Itchy. Itchy. Yeah. itchy. 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 Itchy is one. Itchy. Yeah. No, we have two knees. knees. What do you think? Two. Two is? Knee. Knee. So itchy yeah. knee. Yeah. We we'll have itchy and knee. Yeah. All right. So the third thing now is that, you know, Jamaica is a festival and dumpling country. We like our food. Yeah. But sometimes we also like a sandwich. Aye. And you know that when you're hungry in the morning, you might sneak in the kitchen if nobody watching you, add an extra slice on top mm -hmm. of your sandwich. Yeah. So we have a three slice sandwich. Aye. San. San. Three. Is three. San is three. Ah. So right? itchy. Itchy. Knee. Knee. San. San. All yes. right. So now for number four, when you wake up at four in the morning and you're tired and you're groggy, you normally do what? Stretch. Stretch, but then you? Yawn. 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 Awesome. So because it's early in the morning, we're going to drop off the W. So we have yawn. So four is yawn. yawn. Oh. So right now we have ichi, ichi ni, ni, san, and yawn. Awesome. Oh. So the last one now is that I want you to imagine that you are watching the, the 100 meter finals. Bolt is in the race. And every time you clap, you're going to say, go, go. Five go. is go. Oh. All right. Oh, so ich, ich ni, ni, san, san. san. Yan. Yan. Go. Go. Ah. Awesome. Okay. So you see how quickly you memorize that? Because we created a bridge between what you don't know and what you do know. All right. So I'm going to do a quick well. challenge with you. Okay. So what I want you to do is look at the board here. Yes. And I want you to know, at a Dennis or Kitty, a one for each of you, mm -hmm. is to try and say these as fast as possible. Now I'm going to give you a little <laughs> help. <laughs> because, you know, the way you can do it, like in a Japanese game show, is you can hype it up. Yeah. So this is yon. Yon. San. San. Ni. 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 Ichi. 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 Go. Go. San. San. Ni. Ni. Yon. Yon. Okay. So I want to say it as fast as possible. But no, sir, mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you. The no, broadcast no, no, but I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you. No, here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to give you the rhythm. I'm going to warm my mouth, sir. I'm going to give you the rhythm. I cannot tell no camp about this man. I'm going to give you the rhythm. So, yon san ni ni ichi. Yon san ni ni ichi. Ah, awesome. Okay, that was a risk. <laughs> you ready, Dennis? <laughs> Ichigo san ni yon. Ichigo san ni yon. All right, awesome. <laughs> no, so like what we're going to do now. Ichigo san ni yon. That's very awesome. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to segue yeah. from this into telling time. Okay. Because telling time in Japanese is actually quite easy. So, this is a Japanese character for time. It's called G. 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 J I. Okay, G. And all you have to do to tell the time is add G at the end of a number. So how do you think you would say one o'clock? Ichi. 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 Awesome. And two o'clock? Niji. Yes. Three o'clock? Sanji. Yeah. Five o'clock? Yanji. Goji. Huh? Goji. Oh, Goji. Wait, say five? Five. Goji. Goji. All right, Goji. awesome. No, like the thing is that, 
Four in this is a slight exception because that says four in the morning is early, so we drop off the N. So yeah. it's just yo. So how do you think you'd say four o'clock? Yoji? Yoji. Yeah. Awesome. So right there, we can now say one o'clock. Yeah, Ichiji. Two o'clock. Niji. Three o'clock. Sanji, five, six, seven o'clock, 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 and five o'clock. Goji. Goji. Awesome. But if you're telling the time, we don't know if it's AM or PM. Right. So in the last memory demonstration, I'm going to show you how to tell if it's AM really, really fast. Okay. So a lot of us have these friends who like to meditate in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, they like to go to Emancipation Park and do some intense Zen meditation, them kind of things, there, right? Yeah. So I, I call that friend Go Zen. Oh. Because they like to go and do Zen meditation. Mm. Go Zen in Japanese is AM. Okay. And the cool thing about this is all you have to do is add this at the front of the sentence. Okay. So we already know how to say one o'clock. Yes. Ichi. 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 Yes. And two o'clock? Niji. Niji. Awesome. So how do you think you'd say one AM? Ichiji go Zen. No, you no, drop go it at gen, the front. So yeah. Gojen Ichiji. Yes. Oh, at the front. Yeah, yes. front. Yeah, okay. Gojen Ichiji. Okay, Gojen or, or Gojen Niji. Yes. Oh, that's 2 o'clock. Okay. And how do you think it's at 4 a.m.? Gojen yo, Yoji. Awesome. Yeah. So yoji. what we're doing here is that we're doing what's called memory magic. We're using the science of mnemonics to learn rapidly. I mm. like that. Because though. right away, you didn't know any of the numbers or anything before no. you came here. Did you come here thinking you could tell time? No, well, I knew the numbers because I used to watch, um, enter the dojo. Yeah. E, I e, san, chi, ho, ru, hi, ha, ku, ju. So I know that part. Yeah, yeah. I know that part. Yeah, yeah. But the time, but I, I like that now I remember it, I can associate, mm -hmm. you know, the nose, mm -hmm. the knee, the yawn, and all. So I, I really like that, but I never thought that I would be able to tell the time at all. Yes, and the thing is that this kind of thing can be done at scale. And this is some of the stuff that I can coach people to do because wow. we learn principles like this that seem really, really basic, but as you add on more and more, it becomes more and more complex. But mm -hmm. then you find yourself using the language interacting with the language, and you don't necessarily have to sit down and take notes. Well, guess what? I'm very happy that you're going to be here for the rest of the month. Yes. Because I'm very interested, and I've never been to Japan. So now I can learn some stuff, Dennis, and we can definitely uh, go there and know something. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'm quite sure our viewers are too. So thank you so definitely. much. Definitely. We're going to have some uh, fun. Thank you. How do you say much. thank you? Hmm? Um, Arigato. Arigato. That is Arigato. it. Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> Arigato. Thank awesome. you so Arigato. very, very good pronunciation. Arigato. <laughs> Hi. So what, what, what part is it? Ari what? Arigato. No, I got that part. What is it? You said hi, which is like yes. Hi. Oh. Yeah. So, so you want someone assertive? Okay. You can very say, hi. 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 So this man. <laughs> okay. So this man. Hi. All right. Don't want cough. Hi. I gotta tell you. <laughs> well, school is over for today. Done all work and done all play. This is what we have to say. Thank you, God, for every day on sunrise. Thank you so much, Marcus, for this lesson. Mm. And we are looking forward to the rest of so October. Be an interesting month. Very interesting. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Big up and good night uh, to all Jamaicans all over the world who are in Japan right now. It's around uh, actually 8:40 p.m. Yes. We never yes, learned PM 30, in this lesson, eh? but we're going to learn it in the next lesson. On the other side of the break, stick and stay because we have doctors in office yes. for morning checkup when we return. Mm -hmm.